Okay, my first reaction was complete disbelief. Uh, you know, I was just doing something that I really love. I started volunteering because I was looking for some meaningful things to do rather than staying home and watch K-pop. Seeing people's eyes light up when they realize something new that they can try. It's at that point that I get the most excited, seeing people go away and do something with what they've learned. As a Smart Nation ambassador at the uh, Safe Entry Gateway Help Desk, we actually help uh, callers with problems with their gateway device. I remember an incident where this lady, uh, she operates the uh, hair saloon, and she had problem applying for the gateway device. When we managed to resolve the issue, she, she actually cried. She had a sense of relief. It was a kind of touching moment for me. I thought that you know, being a call center or answering calls, I make no difference. But uh, you know, to you may be small, but to the person receiving it, it could be a, a big impact for them. When the circuit breaker uh, was ending and migrant workers were coming back to work, to their work sites, it was important that the migrant workers really understood what they needed to do. And that's where I think we really helped because we could tap into the diversity of our workforce so that we could uh, chip in with all the translation that was required and help the migrant workers, you know, understand the new protocols in their native languages. One of the colleagues who was involved in this uh, translation got feedback from his cousin who happened to be a migrant worker and said how, uh, you know, how popular it was in the dormitory and how it helped all the migrant workers. That made my colleague super happy and when he shared the story with me, I was super happy because you're uh, doing something to impact the community and improve everyday life. When it comes back full circle, that is when you really realize the depth of the work that you've done and how much impact it had. As a trainer, I three conduct many different classes. So I do like Instagram and also uh, Zoom. So even though these are just lifestyle apps, but I think it's equally important for the seniors. Many seniors, they are not familiar with technology. So they always have this, this fear in them, especially those Akong Amma. They will say, I don't know, lah, too difficult. Lah. I never use this. Lah. So once you teach them something fun and easy, then they overcome the fear. They actually enjoy it. And once they get the hang of it, then you can slowly introduce other essential apps to them, which I think is very helpful. We are seniors too. We can understand the questions better. For, for example, if they say, how do I cut and paste this message from WhatsApp? I mean, if, if this question is posted to a youngster, they'll be like, what? It's so simple, you don't understand. You just cannot appreciate like how elderly learn something. So with us senior, we went through that process. We can relate with them better. Yeah, listen, Smart Nation ambassadors can't just be business people and technology experts or something. But we all talk the same language and talk to ourselves all day. We need people from all different backgrounds. The Smart Nation program allows us to share information in many different venues, from Playscape, experiential education, to webinars, that allows people to see how they can upskill. To be a Smart Nation ambassador means only that you just have a heart to share. That's what, the way I would put it together. It's just sharing information and having the joy when people say, oh, I can use that too. Let me see how I can say this best. Time spent helping others is never time lost, but rather always time gained.